I'm Jez, I'm the bass player. I'm Bill, I'm doing a bit of singing and playing keys. And I'm Matt, and I'm the drummer. We're the Bill Pardon Trio, and you're watching AU Review. We started, well, I started songwriting uh, for the EP probably around kind of 07, 08. Um, that's kind of when I started kind of forming ideas, you know, melodically and, and lyrically, and then it kind of slowly kind of all evolved from there, really. Um, when, we were in this, when we were in the studio? Uh, 2011, I think. Yeah, 2011, we finally... Um, made it into the studio. This is after, you know, workshopping the songs, um, a whole lot of pre-production and whatnot, and uh, finally tracked, and then um, spent a whole lot of time in the kind of, what would you call it, the sonic branding artist development stage, which took, which took years, literally, and uh, eventually, uh, eventually uh, got it mixed, mastered, and, and went, once the disc was kind of ready, uh, we had to wait another year before, kind of Q1, before we started releasing, so it's, been a long time in the making and I'm very very happy and proud of proud of the end product but you know it's taken a while well the big the big time tour was the whole sonic branding kind of artist development stage we worked with a gentleman by the name of um, Matt O'Connor um, from the A&R department he's done A&R for the likes of uh, Thirsty Merck um, the Whitlam's um, Diesel like a whole, a whole lot of kind of well-known names and I mean his whole philosophy was trying to kind of um, develop our sound in a way that would be conducive to radio and by radio that's triple J. Um, it got to a point where we kind of really did push the boundaries um, but uh, weren't really happy with the end product, it just wasn't us and we weren't really being true to ourselves and, and kind of we almost went back to where we were in search for that sound that we were kind of looking for prior to engaging A&R and kind of almost in a sense opted for the, the strategically less rational path so that's where we ended up, but you know, you kind of you got to be happy with the product and true to yourself. So, but that that took a lot of time, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that was that was a big time sure. Catchy lyrics, some strong melodies, uh, some guys that are keen to sell a whole lot of merch. Uh, yeah. Anything else to add? What do you got? Um, I don't know. It's 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 a nice, comfy kind of show, but still. I think got a lot of intensity and and uh, yeah, a big big range of, of cool, calm kind of things, and then some some big stuff. So it's definitely an exciting show. Um, depending on the lighting room tonight, we might have some really good lights, and some really dodgy lights. I was doing <laughs> lights with my foot last night, so uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be good. Newcastle, Newcastle tomorrow. Um, then we head to Byron Bay. Byron Bay, uh, Yamba, Brisbane, and then we're finishing off the whole tour. To, we're going to close it off with a, a big hometown show, so that should be fun. Something to look forward to. We'll get back to our weights and partners and, and things. <laughs>